Hi everyone, I'm Lynn Deckers, the president of the Mothers Network, and I'm joining you today from Casa Deckers as we're all currently spending much more time at home. Here at the Mothers Network, we couldn't let a global pandemic stop us from celebrating our mothers, Mother's Day, and our famous May morning tea. So we've put together for your viewing pleasure, May morning tea at home. May morning tea at home will showcase some of the parts that you know and love from our event, including La Toussaint, the roll call, and Catherine's address and student quotes. Who could forget last year Jenny's excitement as she won our limited edition raffle? Memories like this are courtesy of the wonderful sponsors and private givers that support us. I'd like to thank all of these businesses and families, and I hope that they'll be alongside us in 2021. Putting together this event was the hard work of members of our May Morning Tea team, especially Esther Watson, Rebecca Dawson, and Kylie Perkins. We also had wonderful support from Catherine and members of the AHS communications team in Joe, Mel and Veronica. So in the spirit of Catherine McCauley, put the kettle on, plate up the scones, sandwiches and brownies and settle in and enjoy with me May morning tea at home. Please join me now in singing La Toussaint. to all of you wherever you are today good morning and welcome to the your hello's may morning tea 2020 i acknowledge the traditional owners of the various lands on which we gather today across the city i pay tribute to the founder of the sisters of mercy catherine mccauley and to ellen witty the founder of all hello's school now in its 159th year this year we together make history the first virtual may morning tea and i know it isn't the same as all being together but this year just quietly you get to choose your tipple of choice and i get to celebrate with my girls for the first time sitting down over a cup of tea which is lovely 
Speaking of which, how's that, uh, how's that tea coming along, Emmy? <laughs> you want to say hello? Hi. <laughs> and uh, girls, I know a lot of you will be sitting down uh, with your mums today to share your morning tea. So don't forget to take a photo and post it with the hashtag, hashtag May Morning Tea 2020. Uh, and there'll be a special prize, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Fantastic. So it's also wonderful that so many, uh, or hello, strategic and support staff can also join us this year uh, for the first time for many of you. Welcome to all of you, the leadership team, the uh, current and former Hallows mothers, old girls, students and friends. Welcome one and all. Speaking of old girls, we can't miss out on our annual roll call. So just pretend we can see you out there and I want you to be ready to be upstanding ladies wherever you are as we give a shout out first of all to any girls joining us today who graduated from all hallows since 2010 soon to be joined of course by our stellar class of 2020 which is of course a cohort to watch in years to come i'm sure there are many more all hallows graduates from the noughties with us today as they work from home and have time to to log on to our morning tea virtually Let's shout out to all the old girls from the 1990s. Great to see many of you online with us today. Now we move to the mighty 1980s. How good is that cohort? I can hear you girls from here. I will be missing you this afternoon, but can't wait to catch up when all of this madness finishes. Now we want to have all of the ladies who graduated in the 1970s. We're remembering all of you today. The 1960s, those swinging 1960s, all Hallows girls. I know many of you are online with us today. And of course, our many past pupils from the 1950s or earlier. It is one of the wonderful aspects, I think, of sending your girls to all Hallows to know they too will join the ranks of so many generations of women educated in the spirit of mercy to go on to make such profound contributions to our community in so many ways. Would you please join Louisa and I now in welcoming Hannah Stevens and her mum Michelle to say grace. Thank you, Kristen. In the name of the Creator, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Today we give thanks for all the women in our lives. For the mothers, sisters, aunties, cousins and friends. For those who taught us that comfort and companionship begins with a cup of tea. For those who have shaped us, supported us, inspired us and shone a light for us. For those women who have laughed with us and cried with us. For those women, the frontline staff, who are risking their lives to save ours during the pandemic. For those blue ribboned women yet to be, for whom we hope to be authentic examples of compassion, integrity, humility and strength. For them all, for all our blessings and for all we enjoy today, Lord, we are so grateful. In the name of the Creator, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. We now welcome Mrs. O'Keefe. Hello again to our All Hallows School community. I wanted to take a few minutes ahead of Mother's Day this Sunday to invite you to share a virtual cuppa and a few thoughts about the importance of mothers, mother figures and grandmothers in our All Hallows community. No matter how old or young we are, we look to our mothers and mother figures for comfort in times of fear and uncertainty. We look to them as examples of what it means to be resilient. Many of them have memories of war, depression or health crises that challenged communities before COVID-19, like smallpox, polio and the Spanish flu outbreak. Our female role models give us the hope we need to believe that this too shall pass and that together we can overcome. My own mother, Patricia, at 80 years old, is to this day my biggest supporter. She reads every newsletter that I write and likes every Instagram post that I make. Even now, all grown up as I am, I still seek her wise counsel and am always the better for it. My mother taught me through word and deed the true meaning of what it means to respect always and to love deeply. And for that, I will always be profoundly grateful. Over the years, her continued endless faith in me has lifted me up at times when I wasn't nearly so certain of my own abilities. 
Reflecting on my own motherhood journey, I also feel fortunate to have had the wisdom and support of my mother-in-law, Margaret O'Kane. Margaret's certainly new challenge. She grew up during World War II and her father served in the army. During that conflict, he was captured in Singapore, becoming a prisoner of war on the Burma Thai Railway. When the war was over, it took many months in hospital for him to be well enough to make the journey back home to Australia and then months more convalescing at home. During this tumultuous time, Margaret's love and respect was apparent as she helped shoulder family responsibilities. Despite these hardships, education was highly valued in the family and Margaret was sent here to All Hallows in 1948 to do her junior and sub-junior. She blossomed at our school and relished every moment. In fact, this is one of Margaret's favourite photographs of herself as a young girl, taken right outside what is now my office. After high school, Margaret went on to have six sons, and despite the hectic pace of raising her boys, she always helped others, volunteering at Terrace where they went to school, being an active member of her parish at Stafford, and volunteering for organisations including Lifeline. Another strong role model I have been blessed with. I have heard many wonderful examples over the past few weeks of strong female role models helping our girls to overcome self-doubt in this time of uncertainty. They have stood as pillars of strength, giving them much needed faith so that they will emerge from this challenging time stronger and more resilient. There is an old saying, a daughter is the happy memories of the past, the joyful moments of the present and the hope and promise of the future. No matter how challenging 2020 may seem, grandmothers, mothers and mother figures in our wonderful All Hallows community are united in their faith in the promise of the future. Sadly, while we cannot be physically near to some of our wonderful role models at this time, we can raise a cup in their honour. So, we love and respect you and we thank God for blessing our families with your presence. Happy Mother's Day to all.
so good. What have you liked about being at home with me and I so? Um, well, I don't mind a nice cup of tea while I'm studying, which is often brought to me, and a nice warm lunch is a good change from a Vegemite sandwich. That's nice. I don't distract you too much, do I? No, no, it's fun. <laughs> Not much. Very good. Okie dokie. On behalf of the Mothers Network, we also want to thank the Ohio's leadership team and other members of staff from across the school who year after year help behind the scenes to ensure this event is a success this year being no exception. So thank you again. And one of the aspects of the Mother's May Morning Tea, which always needs the support of staff and many mums, are the teacups themselves. And as many of you know, the tradition of students donating fine China tea sets uh, for use at the morning tea began in the early 90s, following on from a, a much earlier period when the donations were provided by past pupils. There are around 1,400 tea sets in storage in the Mother's Network storeroom, which is just off Dodge Lane. Uh, and approximately 1,000 sets were used at last year's morning tea. All the action starts the day before the event, loading and transferring 200 odd tea set boxes to the venue. Transportation has been provided for the last few years by the Bucknell family of B&B Fresh, whose youngest daughter is now in year 12. So a little shout out, we're looking for a new transport partner in 2021. Uh, the next part of the journey, uh, we're met at the venue by up to 20 volunteers to then lay out the tea sets. And the big job, of course, is that army of volunteers who hand wash, dry and pack 3,000 pieces back into their boxes and home safely to All Hallows, uh, all done very super efficiently so that the last of the, the Mother's Network team can join the rest of us at an after party crowd. Long may we continue to grow this very special collection. Let's hear now from some fellow Year 12 mums on what the May morning tea means to them. Anjali, Akanjali. The All Hallows Mother's Morning Tea. I think it's the greatest social event on the school calendar. It's a, a wonderful day and the only opportunity that we can spend the, the morning with a thousand mums celebrating the sisterhood, our daughters and the wonderful school they attend all over a cup of tea and then we kick on into the afternoon and evening drinking something other than tea to enjoy ourselves. I'm really going to be sad to be missing my eighth and final Mother's Morning Tea but would like to wish all the mums a very happy Mother's Day. Serviette Our favourite part of the May Morning Tea is the tea. I love the roll call for old girls because being one myself that's quite special. I do know the words off by heart to the Angeli, so I love the chance to sing that out loud. But most of all, celebrating motherhood with my girlfriends and lots of laughs and stories and the privilege that it is to be a mother. The Mother's Day morning tea is special to us because we get to celebrate our mums. Three words, friendship, smiles and understanding. Friendship and smiles synonymous with All Hallows Mother's morning tea. Understanding is my husband when I ring at two to stay home at four, but walk in the door at eight. Such a wonderful event. So sad to be missing it this year, but I know that I have a lifetime full of friendships and memories from the many, many years that I have been celebrating your Hallows Mother's Morning Tea. I've been lucky enough to be both a guest and part of the organising committee for the May Morning Tea. And I honestly don't think that I really appreciated just how much the May Morning Tea meant to me until I was part of last year's event and responsible for transitioning to a new venue and making that space so warm and welcoming, but also upholding the traditions that make the May Morning Tea so special. May Morning Tea is very special to me. We get a chance to dress up, put makeup on, have three hours drinking coffee with friends and maybe a few hours drinking wine later. But more than that, it's about celebrating being a mum with not only a table, but a room full of people that knows exactly what that entails. And I'm going to miss it. The May morning tea is special to me every year when we have our beautiful daughters serving tea and coffee when they're in year 10. A very special milestone. 
the May morning tea is a unique opportunity to uh, catch up with lots of generations of All Hallows girls. It's always fun standing up with the 80s students and uh, singing Aunt Lee. What I love most about the May morning tea, apart from catching up with all my lovely friends, are the traditions of it. I love turning my cup over and seeing whose cup and saucer I have been um, lucky enough to receive. Uh, I, I love to listen to the inspirational speakers and I also enjoy watching the video of the different things that the girls have said about their mums. What I love about the May Morning Tea is that it's a celebration of women, a celebration of mothers and motherhood, and there's always a buzz in the air with everyone catching up. So happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. It's been fabulous hearing what you've got to say and your memories about um, May Morning Tea. It's love that you could, uh, could join us for today. And to Kylie, um, it's been really fabulous working with you as well on coordinating May morning tea. It's a shame we couldn't uh, round out the year at the venue this year, but we do get the um, bonus of being able to actually sit down and have a cup of tea during the event, which we don't normally have time to do. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'd just like to reassure the community that plans are well underway for 2021. We've secured the venue and we're gonna hold the May morning tea on the 14th of May. We've also assembled the coordinating team and they're all ready to go um, to get things sorted for 2021. Well, that leaves just one last important reminder to take photos and post them with the hashtag, hashtag May Morning Tea 2020 for your chance to win a $200 T2 voucher. Don't forget. Fantastic, thanks Lou. And it is very strange not to be announcing now at this point of the morning tea that the first bus has arrived to transport you to the Story Bridge that will just have to wait until next year. In the meantime, from us, we wish all of you a wonderful afternoon filled with happy memories, a fantastic Mother's Day. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.